Hey guys, welcome back to WP King. In this video, I'll show you how to add multiple domains to one hosting account. And also in the end, I'll show you how to install WordPress on additional websites. So this method will work on any hosting that supports cPanel. And also you want to make sure you can install unlimited websites on your hosting account. So for example, in Bluehost with a basic plan, you can only have one website, but with a plus plan, you can have unlimited websites. If you need a reliable and good website hosting, I recommend Bluehost. You can find it by clicking on the first link that's in the description. I also have a video on this channel showing you how to buy Bluehost hosting, how to get best price and how to install WordPress and make your own website. I will also leave a links to all these videos in the description. But now let's show you how to add multiple domain names to one hosting account. To get started, you want to get into your hosting and open cPanel. After that, you should be on this page and we will scroll down till you see domains and then add on domains. If you can't find it, you can just type it right here, add on domains and it will appear right away. So let's click on it. Here you want to type in the domain name. I got wp-king.co. I will leave the subdomain as default and I will click on add domain and you should get the message the add-on domain has been created. After that, if you want to install WordPress on this new domain, you want to go to the cPanel. Then right here in the search box, you want to type in WordPress and you want to click on WordPress manager by Softaculous. So let's click on that. And right here, I already have some additional WordPress websites. But we want to install WordPress on the new website we just added, so we are gonna click on install. And in the installation URL, we will choose our domain, which is wp-king.co. So let's click on that. We want to remove this directory wp. And for the protocol, I will choose the last one. The version looks fine, so it automatically installs the newest version. We will scroll down. Here in the site settings, you can input your site name and site description. So I will type in WP King. And for the site description, I will type in learn WordPress for free. Then we have to make an admin account. So you want to input admin username, admin password and admin email. Make sure you remember this information because we will use it to log in into our WordPress dashboard. So I'll just type in uh, my username, my password and my admin email. So this all looks fine. We can scroll a little bit down. Language is English, which is good. I won't install any of these plugins, so you don't have to either. In the advanced options, you don't really want to play with this around, so I'll just leave it as default. And for the team right here, I won't choose anything because I will later install my team that I want. So we can scroll to the bottom and we can click on install. The installation will begin. And as you can see, it's already done. So this only takes a couple of seconds. Now the last thing to do is to connect the domain name to our hosting. So I got my domain name from Namecheap. I have a video tutorial on this channel on how to buy cheap domains, so I will leave a link to it in the description. So basically once you buy the domain, you want to go to your uh, dashboard. After that, go to the domain list. And right here, you should see your domain name. So click on manage. And right here where it says name servers, choose custom DNS. And now right here you have to input your name servers. So to get name servers from your hosting, you want to log in into the client area. And in my hosting, under hosting information, I have these two name servers. So I will copy that. And also I will copy the second one. And after you input your name servers, just click on this green check mark. And that's it. This might take up to 48 hours to update. So if you can't reach your site, please don't panic and wait a few hours and you should be good to go. Also, if you have a Bluehost hosting, these are their name servers. Uh, you can find this article in the Bluehost knowledge base. 
So after we've successfully connected our domain name to our hosting and installed WordPress, we can check if this works. So let's go to our domain name wp-king.co. Let's hit enter. And as you can see, we can access the website. So we have successfully installed additional domains to a uh, one hosting account. That's it for this video. Please leave a like and comment if this helped you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.